honestly, having the experience of trying both psilocybin and Amanita muscaria, I can say that mm. they are definitely like two completely different things. And with the, the Amanita muscaria, I think it's more centered around like really getting into the uh, like the deepest issues, you know, similar to what um, the, the sample from ayahuasca I was saying do where it really helps you get into those deep seated root rooted issues yeah. and it works um from from yeah that really deep place and that's why even in when you're sleeping or when you're in your dreams that's when it does the most work and like, yeah no mushroom does that so true I know of so like so wait can, can we back a little bit so you, how much did you take um, did you do a microdose, macrodose? Because people are fascinated by Amanita muscaria. So we'd like to know exactly what you did for that one. Um, was it a micro, macro? Did you go to sleep? And then what happened? I did uh, maybe half. I did 15 grams, I would say. Something like that. Okay. Yeah. So you ate I it raw? Was... Did you eat it or you boil it in tea? No, I just ate it how yeah. it was. It was actually pretty good. And yeah. um, I, I, like ate it until I knew like until my body sort of intuitively knew like this was enough and um mm -hmm. I actually was listening to this guy that I always listen to when I'm doing um like acid or mushrooms at home but, and his name is actualized.org and mm -hmm. he had this video about like what is wisdom and also something about like nature of reality and god and so i was really deep into that but you know i was outside um walking around and just literally experiencing that god, that god within me and you know it's so beautiful that you can't trade it for anything in the world honestly just to be able to go around walk outside and look around and be like yeah i created all of this and there's <laughs> <laughs> that's really the pinnacle of mm. of life honestly it's um it's the best feeling that there is and um you know to be able to get even just a glimpse of it with that kind of medicine um just makes you even more uh inspired to want to get it naturally and so right. with that yeah. I, I just kept um on that state like how can I get back to that state so you know I just really kept getting consistent with the meditations and going really deep with them yeah. and I can feel that it just made a lot of different connections um within my brain that you know that that allowed me to access that state yeah. without needing it. Yeah. Do you know what? You touched on something really important, I think, for me as well. Like, it's, I mean, people can question why take plant medicines. And you said something there. You said that, because it reminded me why I do them. Even when I, before plant medicines, like when I took ecstasy for the first time and I got that really present state of love. And then I came out of it and I thought, well, this is what my potential is. This is what life could be. So I came out of it motivated, inspired, knowing that I wouldn't be in that state forever. It was a temporary glimpse. Like this is a glimpse of what I could be. So it's nice to work towards that in our state. That's reason why we do these medicines. Because it gives you a version of reality that you never knew. That the things you know logically you experience emotionally, but second, you want a taste. You want you when you come out of it, you want to build towards moving up and advancing without it. So it's like a tool, yeah. is what I'm saying. It gives you the glimpse and it inspires you, as you said, it inspires you to, to try harder in your day-to-day -day life with all the things. Because me and you, and everyone watching this, we all get lazy sometimes. You know, we're probably more disciplined than most, but we're still, we have our weaknesses, right? We, we don't always do what we need to do. The plant medicine reminds us, oh shit, we are sacred. Let's, let's crack on. <laughs> exactly. And that goes for any like thing that you use as a tool in life it should always be pointing you back to yourself, like, like making sure that you are the one that's in power, giving you the power back to yourself. And um, if it's not, then it's not really serving your growth. That's at least how I like to look at it.
exactly. How long did the how long did um, the Amelie to Mascaria last? Did it? Did you have a, a um a nice come down? Did you go to sleep? Did it put you to sleep? Or... No, I think it lasted maybe four to six hours, like where it was you know really noticeable. But then over the next couple hours, sort of like died down. But um, honestly, pretty much the whole day that it, it, I could feel some kind of effects, and I took it at like ten a.m. Yeah, and it it was just really eye opening in a lot of ways. Yeah, I saw your and video, I, man. Carry on, sorry. Yeah, I would never, I would never even have imagined that something like this could be readily available for anybody to buy online yeah nor me yeah i didn't know either complete shock i didn't know it was legal i mean it's let me just caveat that it's legal externally so we must say that but yeah right. that's what's legal so that's why it can be sold but then obviously we can do different things because that's not external is cool by the way but then you didn't do it externally so and it more powerful internally but mm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah yeah, man, I love it. So I was going to ask, I was going to ask you something there about um, the Amanita, I think. So yeah, it didn't put you, oh yeah, I know what I was going to say, like, um, do you feel like it rewired your brain? Because I know the other ones, the other mushrooms, the psilocybin, everyone knows that from science. It's, you know, it's neurogenesis, it creates new brain pathways, resets the brains, resets the habits, and um, allows new brain, allows new lifestyle, or transformational, is what I'm saying, the psilocybin, proven by science. Do you feel like the same with Amanita? Do you think it rewired you in some way? That's exactly what I did. As soon as I, as, after I took it, I was making more YouTube videos and like much better um, work with my school that I'm at, which I definitely got to talk more about later. Asking. But yes. Uh, and just much more uh, focus and dedication to, you know, my sadhana, my self care practice, that devotion to uh, my life purpose was just like, back where i needed it to be so that the mushrooms they played a very big part in that i felt like a little bit of stagnancy after coming back from the u.s yeah. and you know, like being in this paradise tropical heaven yeah <laughs> coming back to this i was like yeah understandably and that brought me right back where i needed to be i love that i love how everything's perfect and divine for us to get back to where we need to be and uh um, we was both in the right place to get on the Amanita and Muscaria. And who'd have known that something like that could be legal and cheap too, I might add to people, and so powerful. And by the way, David's an affiliate and I'm an affiliate. If anyone's interested, message David and me. That's cool too. And you can get you cheaper. But yeah, that's it's amazing. I can't wait to explore more of it. I had a little experience like you um, with about 7G raw. It put me to sleep and then I woke up and I was like, where am I? I mean, I'm like uh healed <laughs> i'm like my I like my version of why i'd even got into the community in the first place smoke made me to do all amazing things on my journey to heal myself was just like fixed almost to me but for the when i woke up from the sleep it literally put me to sleep and then i woke up and i didn't expect it to be like whoa okay and then i did the live with bradley um <laughs> when i was still a little bit hi, like hi. hi that was all you saw the rant right the eight minute rant um <laughs> yeah you commented on it that eight minute rant when i was going like oh guys you all need this shit. that was me pretty much like very much in the throes of of the high so and i hadn't even as much as mute i find it really interesting david to study and explore i'm gonna learn a lot more about it. i'm gonna write a book about it um i feel like it's a bit different to the other one because you can't just say i'll eat loads sometimes there's less of the good stuff the muscimol and hypotenic out of the muscle mold, there's less of it in a certain amount. So even if you eat 15G, it's not standard sized, is what I'm saying. Some might have more, some might have less. So there's an art to it that needs to be studied more. Um, Adam will say this. Um, there's a lot to it. It's a very complicated, sacred mushroom. So it's not as simple as saying, sometimes you can eat 15G and it works. Sometimes you can eat 15G, and there's nothing in it. Like it, it teaches you the lessons almost to divinity. Sometimes it'll give you lessons, sometimes it won't. It's how I look at it. It's really interesting mushroom. It needs to be explored more. And I'm glad that you've had that experience.